Bill Schwab, WineBuys.com here, uh, the wine guy, and I'm here with Mr. Corn. How are you doing, Mr. Corn? Oh, you can take it. <laughs> He's playing paintball every week. He's yeah, complaining about oh, tap there. I'm going to start shooting you in the foot. <laughs> i got to start winning so I don't have all these bruises. <laughs> And we're going on, we just tasted our way through the uh, Eddie Frog, which was outstanding, the 06. Uh, we had the 05, we were just talking off camera about how the 05 was a little thin. The 06 is outstanding. Now we're going to the Grand Tanel. Tanel? Wait. Merci. 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 And this is the 09, which is, uh, what kind of vintage was the 09? I'm trying to give him an opportunity to tell me about the vintages. <laughs> the 09 was exciting. Um, harvest was uh, was sunny and perfect. Um, there was a uh, it was very dry, and uh, it just gave us not only lots of fruit but lots of good, evenly ripe fruit. Well, I've had a lot of uh, 09 Coterones, and they've been very hedonistic. And uh, this, I think, this might be the first. Real Chandouf to pop. Uh, I think I might have had one like the B and G's or you know one of the non-estate Chandouf spots in the 09. But I think this is the first estate Chandouf to pop I've had in the 09. Mm. I'm not spitting that. Wow, dark cherry and leather. I mean, yeah. really nice. This uh, Grant Grantonelle of all the properties we had here on the table. This is this is our largest, most modern property, mm. and they make wines in a bit of a modern style, if you can say that, coming from such an old world region. Um, but Rontanel, they, they'll they release their Chateau Neuf de Pop a little bit before the others because of their style and their approach. To, uh, it's very wines. approachable. Uh, it's not as um, uh, heavy handed as some Chateau Neuf de Pop. It's very drinkable, very enjoyable. It still has a great city, a great back structure, a relatively low tannins. I don't get any grip on the side tongue, but a good acidity in the center of the tongue. Mm. This wine certainly highlights the fruit. It gives you real generous red fruits that uh, that that are that, that that's why we're tasting a little bit kind of in the middle because mm. the first two wines were a little bit more rustic. Mm -hmm. And mm. if you were to taste the Grand Tanel before them, it might it, they might taste like they're lacking fruit. Mm. I mean, it's a, a Kirschwasser finish. I mean, yeah. just a, a, a oh, straight yeah. uh, 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 cherry liqueur to the finish. Very nice. Very creamy. I would say out of the whole lot, this is the most hedonistic, but it still hasn't gotten out of the way of, of food friendly to it. Uh, I want to slap a big cowboy ribeye on the grill with this. Uh, bone in, 23 ounces, uh, and keep it simple. A little baked potato on the side, maybe a couple asparagus spears, but just the meat itself and let this foil off of it. Salt and pepper, that's it. Mm. Yeah, usually with Shannon Topoff, I like dock or lamb. I like that little gaminess interaction. But I just want the, the, the nice sweet fruit to foil off just a nice piece of a little bit of oily meat. Right. I think hunting season's right around the corner, and venison loin would be pretty darn good. Yeah. Venison, I like the gaminess, and I love venison with Shannon Topoff. It's one of my favorite combinations. Uh, good venison loin, or even a good hearty venison stew, you know, with a little bit of... Uh, uh, Small onions, maybe chip on onions from Italy, and uh, uh, a little bit of carrots, some fresh peas, you know, a little bit of celery in there just to offset some flavors. But um, wow, I want this wine to shine off a very simple but flavorful piece of meat. Uh, I think the wine could really shine through. Delicious stuff. Mike, thank you. We're, we got a great price on this, too. I can't believe you guys are selling this for such a good price, man. Where are we at? Guantanel, $40 regular price, $37 today. Sweet. Um, he says today because we're doing the tasting today, but for our internet folks, we're going to run that price all week long. Mike, thank you, sir. Thank you.